give them a round of applause. GCU President Brian Mueller praising employees during a meeting today while addressing a long-standing fight with the U.S. Department of Education. Mueller claims the university is being unfairly targeted. What we do know is, is that it's unjust and it's unfair and we want it fixed. For more than 50 years, GCU was recognized as a nonprofit university. In 2004, however, it converted into a for-profit institution. University officials say they had no choice. It needed to raise private capital or consider closing. Then back in 2018, after experiencing a lot of growth, it switched back to a nonprofit university, a move that was recognized by the IRS for tax purposes. However, the Department of Education disagreed. We said, listen, we're, we're willing to work with you. Tell us what you want us to do. GCU filed against the Department of Education in 2021. Last year, a U.S. district judge sided with the DOE, upholding its decision to label GCU a for-profit university. And according to that judge's ruling, a big portion of GCU's profits benefit a private party that performs administrative duties for the university. And this violates the DOE's definition of a nonprofit institution. While the university has appealed that ruling, Mueller said GCU has been subject to investigations that are typically only triggered by low graduation scores and high student loan default rates. He says does not apply to GCU. These investigations have cost us thousands of man hours. They've cost us millions of dollars and they don't impact any of the major issues that are plaguing higher education today. Most recently, the DOE accused the school of misinterpreting the cost to complete a doctoral degree at the university, among other accusations that Mueller said could lead to fines. We have a, an incredible situation here and I hope I would wish and hope that people in Washington uh, would take another look at it and, and uh, stop the nonsense. The Department of Education sent Arizona's family this statement, saying in part, we take our oversight obligations seriously, follow the facts where they lead, and will not be dissuaded from enforcing the law and protecting students, taxpayers, and student aid programs. In Phoenix, Emma Lockhart for Arizona's family. A 